look at the color of that animal, guys. She actually came out with a ringer on her tail. This thing is just insanely pretty. Hey, what's up YouTube? Jordan here from JP's Reptiles and welcome back to another video, guys. First off, big sorry to everybody I haven't put out a video in like a couple of months. It's been super busy here. A bunch of babies hatching. I went to a few shows. Just got back from Cancun, Mexico for the big ball python symposium, which is gonna be a lot bigger next year. There's a lot of stuff going on, a little bit of expansion too. Got a bunch of brand new animals that I haven't shown off and a lot of stuff has been happening. We're gonna get back on this YouTube train. We're gonna do a video every week, try to get you guys up to date what's going on, starting with a lot of the brand new pickups. That's gonna be in the next couple of videos, so make sure you guys tune in and check out for those in the future. But as far as today's video, we're gonna get started by just showing off some of the babies that I have left. A lot of the stuff that I've hatched this year has already sold, but I still have a lot of stuff that I can show you guys here. Let's check out some of the babies that I've hatched here, including some of that are gonna be special holdbacks. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's jump right into it. Let's get started by showing you guys some of the awesome babies I've hatched this year. Now, again, like I said, most of them have sold, but we still got some stuff that's available. So we're gonna start off with those ones before we show you the hold back. So let's take out this first female right here, a firefly, which is a fire pastel, yellow belly, leopard, spot nose, 100% het clown. Talk about a genetic powerhouse. I mean, this female, guys, is insane. She literally hit on every single gene in the pairing which was a Firefly Leopard Ivory to the Batman. So we literally hit on every single gene. Look at the color, look at the pattern distribution of that animal. It is just absolutely unbelievable. One more time, this is the Firefly Yellow Belly Leopard Spot Nose 100% Heck Clown. And yes, she still is available. So the next animal that I hatched this year in the same clutch is a similar animal, but it's missing one gene. And that happens to be, of course, the spot nose gene. Now she is in shed. So unfortunately you're not gonna get the full picture of her beautiful colors. However, she's still pretty awesome. And this guys is a firefly yellow belly leopard, 100% head clown. So again, this one is missing the spot nose, but it's still a gorgeous animal. I mean, even in shed, even cloudy, you can see all that amazing pattern, all the amazing color and how bright she is. Just a beautiful female. It's gonna be another awesome powerhouse to add to anybody's collection. So one more time, everybody, this is the Firefly Yellow Belly Leopard 100% Head Clown. So moving on to snake number three, which I also hatched. This was the last clutch of the season. And this boy turned out absolutely amazing. I have not shown him off yet. And this, everybody, is a pastel spot nose clown. Just a beautiful animal. I love spot nose clowns. I think spot nose and clown, it just, it's amazing how much pattern the spot nose brings out and the head stamps and everything that comes along with it. This boy is absolutely stunning. You can see how much pattern distribution he's got. He's got a gorgeous little head on him. He's gonna be absolutely amazing. And again, he is a pastel spot nose clown. Babe. Continuing on with the last clutch of the season, this is a snake that I'm really particularly proud of because the quality and the color is amazing. Now this animal is a female and she just turned out so amazing. If you guys go on my Morph Market page, which links is in the description below, guys, Morph Market is where I advertise all my stuff for sale. You'll be able to see a nice close-up picture of this animal. She is gorgeous. And here she is, guys. This is just a fire clown, but look at the color and the pattern of that snake. This is what I call absolute quality. She turned out amazing. I love the fire gene, I love what it does. 
especially when you add a whole host of other genes, fire really lifts that color and makes the animals much brighter. And this snake turned out to be a gorgeous example of a fire clown. So she is available guys. Like I said, if you want to check her out, Morph Market, link in the description below. Click on that link. You can see where they are advertised along with anything else that I have currently available. You guys can check them out. So one more time, this is the absolutely gorgeous fire clown. So we're gonna stick with the last clutch of the season, another animal. This one is spoken for, but I still wanted to show it off because I think this male is absolutely incredible. And this, ladies and gentlemen, happens to be what I'm 90% sure is a fire spot nose clown. However, it's kind of borderline. I mean, the snake isn't like super bright, but there's a lot of red flaming and blushing down the side of the body, which from a lot of regular spot nose clowns I haven't seen. But because I'm not 100% sure, I've released this animal as a spot nose clown, but I'm 90% sure it is gonna turn out fire. Regardless of whatever it happens to be, this thing is just insanely pretty. Look at the flames, look at the color of that snake, and of course, my favorite, which is that head stamp. I have never seen a spot nose clown with an X go across its face like that. So that is an absolutely amazing quality animal. But one more time, guys, this is a spot nose clown, and I'm 90% sure it's gonna prove out to be a fire spot nose clown. Talk about quality guys. I mean, these babies are absolutely amazing. The colors are intense, especially that fire spot nose clown. That was an amazing animal. And this is just like a handful of some of the stuff I've hatched guys. I'm gonna be showing a lot more stuff over the coming weeks. Make sure you keep checking back on the channel to see those videos. Now we're gonna move on. I wanna show you the three snakes that I'm most proud of hatching this season. All three of them are holdbacks. All three of them are Batmans. All three of them came from the same clutch, so the odds were amazing this season. Let's check these three snakes out right now. So the first Batman combo that we're gonna show off from the last clutch, which by the way, all three of these came from the last clutch. The pairing was a Firefly Clown, which is a Fire Pastel Clown, to the Batman, which is my male. And this girl popped out of that clutch right there. And this, ladies and gentlemen, happens to be one absolutely amazing example of a Fire Batman. I mean, the pattern distribution is amazing. There's a lot of flaming down on the sides of the body here. And of course, let's see if we can get a shot of her head. Her head is just amazing. She's really inquisitive. And what's really awesome about this snake is she actually came out with a ringer on her tail, which traditionally speaking, ringers mean that there's some kind of correlation to uh, het pied or, or pied markers. I'm not really sure. I don't know what's going on here. I've personally never seen a Batman with a ringer. It's really interesting to hatch out such a beautiful quality animal like this and to see something so unique like that ringer. So one more time, everybody. This was the first Batman of the clutch and it is a fire Batman female, which is hold back number one. Batman number two in that last clutch is another personal favorite of mine. She is just absolutely gorgeous. And this, ladies and gentlemen, happens to be a Firefly Batman. Look at the color of that animal, guys. Look at the pattern. The head is amazing. This is just an absolutely gorgeous example. And I've had some people message me saying that this is just a Firefly clown, but after showing it off to a few Batman experts, which basically are people who've hatched quite a few Batman combos, each one of them are 100% are sure that this is in fact a Batman. So we will see. The beauty about this game is I get the holder back. It's my choice and I get the prover out. And if it does in fact prove out to be a Firefly Batman, not only is it gonna be incredibly beautiful, but it's also gonna be a genetic powerhouse. So one more time, guys, my personal favorite of the last clutch, this is the Firefly Batman. All right, so the last Batman of the clutch, I know that's like three Batmans, but still, 
what great odds to get in that clutch. And this time, this one was a male. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already would have seen this male. I posted a really nice edited picture of him with a nice white background, and he turned out absolutely phenomenal. And I think he is going to replace my Batman in time. And this, guys, is a fire Batman. One thing I love about this one over mine is the head. The head is so vastly different than the one that I bought. I mean, he's got this amazing head stamp. He's got awesome color. He's got amazing pattern distribution, a lot of flaming down the sides. And one unique thing about him, which my Batman doesn't have, is the belly, guys. Look at the belly on that animal. It's all checkered, there's all kinds of stuff going on there. It's a really busy pattern. This is just a beautiful snake. And like I said, he's probably be gonna become the new primary Batman male in the future, which means that my breeder male will become available to the public very soon. So one more time, guys, this is a fire Batman male. All right, YouTube, so that pretty much concludes the video today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys love some of these things that you saw today. Make sure you go down in the comments below and let me know which one of those babies was your absolute favorite. You already know which ones are my favorite, but I'd love to hear from you guys as well. As well as if there's anything that you guys would like, go down in the description below. You'll be able to see the link to my Morph Market page where all the stuff that I have available is for sale. You guys can click on that, check out what I have. If there's something that interests you, you guys are more than welcome to message me on Instagram or on Facebook or here, anywhere. It doesn't matter. I'll answer you guys as much as possible. As far as videos go, I promise I'm going to be doing a better job over the next few months getting videos out every week for you guys. Today was just the first video back. Next week, we might show off some of the unboxing, some of the stuff that came in recently. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. So as far as for now, hope you guys have an absolutely amazing week. Get ready for the 2020 season and we'll be sure to catch you guys on the next video.